So welcome back. So we're still, um, wait, hold up, hold up. There we go. So we're at the, uh, the Brew Mart here, or Ballast Point Brew Mart here in uh, San Diego, California on Linda Vista Drive. Go check it out. Um, with my friend Coral. He found a probe and we're trying to find, we're trying to decide what we want to do. Meg the aliens told me to buy this. Oh crap. Dude. All right, so we kind of decided what we want to brew. Um, so it's kind of something like along the lines of uh, Clawhammer Claw Supply. Uh, they've made last summer, they made but with a, strawberries. So they made a uh, Lazy Hazy Summer IPA, which is pretty crushable IPA, but we're doing a little bit different. Because we're adding strawberries. Yeah, we're adding strawberry puree. Um, so essentially we're taking to what their um, grains are be, like essentially. Yeah. So we're doing six pounds of German Pilsner. Uh, flaked oats gonna be one and a half pounds. Uh, flaked barley, 0.75 pounds. Uh, flaked wheat, 0.75 pounds as well. And like, like we just said a minute ago, the specials are gonna be uh, the strawberry puree, three, three pounds, yeah, three, three pounds, one ounce of it. We'll use our discretion. Don't yeah, worry, ladies and gentlemen. Advised. It won't be like a uh, soda with with some beer in it. It's gonna be beer. Yeah, it's definitely. But it's gonna be, gonna be like. Strawberry, light summer, yummy, yum goodness. It's gonna be a, a good beer. So let's uh, let's get some grain going and uh, yeah. Cheers. Let's go get some grain, buddy. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Follow us. Let's do it. Oh, I got so many hands. We don't talk about it. That works too. Do the boogie all night long. Uh, uh, what we need first? German German Pilsner, right? Let's see. Ah, remember where it was? Follow us. Keep in touch, ladies and gentlemen. Modern brew life. We just pass it on. We get to watch the ex escapades. Escape a pades, yeah. What are we what are we getting here, Nate? Uh six pounds of US Pilsner. Oh yes. Dr. Handwright, love it. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. But here we go. Is it US or is it is Or no it, German Pilsner? Sorry, my bad. Ah, my bad. German. That's okay. So Two, almost two pounds right there. Almost to the six. There we go. There we go. Six pounds, here we go. Ah, grain dust. Don't Boy. breathe this. <laughs> so, uh, we also need uh, one and a half pounds of uh, flaked oats, 0.75 pounds of flaked barley, uh, 0.75 pounds of flaked wheat. But since they're flakes, uh, we don't need to mill them for the obvious. Um, so we'll mill this right now and then get the rest and just put them in a separate bag or something. Let me get it. Ow. put that there. Good old bucket. <laughs> Special oh, yeah. ass bucket. Special modern brew life bucket. Uh, right. Everybody, you can order one for $15.95. Plus shipping and handling. Plus, exactly. Plus our time, and you better buy the stickers too, because yeah. if not, you're just getting a bucket from us. So. Yeah, we got stickers and t-shirts for sale. I know, doesn't it look dapper? <laughs> dapper Nate. Mm. 
out of here. <laughs> Get out of here with that. So we're only milling the six pounds of the uh, German Pilsner, not to be confused with the US Pilsner, um, for here because all the uh, uh, flake kind of stuff, oats, barley, and all, and all that jazz, doesn't need to be milled because it's already flakes. Um, so let's get a millin. A millin we will go. A millin we will go. Hi ho to Nadio. A millin we will grow. Alrighty, back in the old mill room. Cleaning up everyone else's mess. Pretty much. Pretty standard. We got the Pilsner here. Ooh, pretty pills. Oh. Lit up. Lit is close for protection, right? Oh yeah. Always gotta be have protection. Safety third. Just so you know, ladies. <laughs> we always have protection. Alright. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. There we go. Ah, small batch this time. We're gonna make it extra delicious though. Oh yeah. It's one of our four ingredients has to be milled. The other is not so much. Alright, now let's get a milling. Cool. Oh. And we watch, we wait, we love. And we dance. Do we want to do a double mill or a single mill? Yes. That was an either or question. Yes. That wasn't a yes or no. <laughs> Alright, so yes to double mill? Absolutely. Alright. More so grain it's... surface area the better, right? I, it's been said, alright. Here we go. The more grain surface area the better, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Haha. <laughs> Here we are, we're going back in. Back in the room. Back in the room. Oh. Is it empty? Huh! Oh. Surprising! It's empty. It's empty like my bank account. <laughs> Right. Let's see what we got, Nate. Oh. All right, we got a good grit or good mill so far, but we're gonna do a double mill. Oh, it smells so yummy. You guys need smell a vision. All right, back on in. Lovely. What the grain mill does, yeah, it makes you fart, ladies and gentlemen. Safety first, close the door. Wait. <laughs> Holy mess. <laughs> That's a good mill. Here he is. It's a good mill. What do y'all think? Oh. I think it's a good mill. Double good mill. Alright, let's get the fleet. Barley and all that, all that jazz cabbage. Alrighty, jazz hands. Yes, exactly, jazz hands. Let's find it first. All right, so right now we're getting the uh, the flaked, uh, flaked oats, flaked barley, and the flaked wheat. All right. So we're doing one and a half pounds of U.S. Uh, flaked oats, 1.5 Levabon. Levabon. One and a half pounds of it. All right. Let's do it. We need more. Ooh, just barely. Is that one and a half? Uh, it's one and a quarter. All right, one and a quarter. Just a smidge more. Let's see, Nate doing his quarter. There we go, that's one and a half. Beautiful. So it doesn't need to be, uh, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm just gonna dump it into this. Alright, cool. So now That's we're nice. at the flaked barley. Uh, we're doing 0.75 pounds of flaked barley. US uh, 1.5 level bond. Level bond. A little bit more. A little bit more. Good. 
good to me. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're at the uh, last of the part of it. We're getting the flaked wheat. Again, 0.75 pounds of flaked wheat. Uh, one level bond. It's not a, not a lot of... Uh, not a lot of level bonds. No. There we go. That's it. So that's all the flake wheat, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. All right. Let's get a pour. Oh, beautiful. Love so it. now we got, uh, goodness, the flaked oats, the flaked uh, barley, and the flaked wheat on top. Absolutely. And all going into the mash. But like I said, we don't need a mill this because it's already flaked. No milling. Yum, 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 yum. That's some good stuff right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. So we just finished the uh, getting all the grains and all that. So... We're out of beer, and it's kind of already late. Um, so we're kind of finishing up the the brew mart experience, essentially. Um, got all the greens, got the strawberry extract that we wanted to get. Um, this beer is going to turn out great. And um, probably in a week, or maybe two weeks, we're going to brew this up. Either way, it's going to be an awesome beer. Uh, no matter what happens, because I mean, essentially, the, what we were saying earlier is like the it's kind of based off the Claw Hammer Supply uh, Crushable Lazy Hazy IPA. Um, so, no matter what, it should be a good day in all in all. So, uh, drink our beer exactly, find it, drink it. If it's good, drink it. Uh, we'll see you all uh, on the brew day next. With strawberries. With strawberries! So, uh, <laughs> catch you all in the next episode, and then uh, remember, have a homebrew. Later. <laughs>